In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a pie chart in DaVinci Resolve. So go over and create a fusion composition. Head over to your fusion composition and add a background. Connect your background with the media out and you can go ahead and change the background color to whatever you want. That is up to you. I'm just going to go with this blue color, dark blue color. So you can go ahead and choose any color that you want. And we're going to do the same thing for our pie chart as well. You can select any color that you want. So for that, you can simply drag a background and I'm going to change the color to red. You can choose whatever color you want and connect it with the background one. Now we're going to add this ellipse and connect it with the background. So here we have our circle. This will act as the base of our chart. You can go ahead and change the size of this as well, but I'm going to keep this as it is. Now, the next thing is to add the highlights so that we can show that we are showing some parts of the chart or we can show some data from the chart. So in order to do that, what we can do is once again, go ahead and copy this, copy the ellipse one and the background. Click over here on your node section anywhere and just make sure that this is not selected. Select this, copy this, and, and just unselect it. And then hit Control V so you can paste it. And then connect it with the merge. But before you do that, before you connect it with the merge one, what you can do is remove this ellipse as well and then add this polygon. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create that highlight ourselves. Connect your polygon with the background and you can, of course, change the polygon color as well. I'm going to set the green at one as well. Now, what we can do is go over to the polygon and create this point over here. Just click on it close to this anchor over here so that we can connect. We can, you know, move it accordingly. And now go over to wherever you want to add a point. So I'm just going to add a point over here right here so make sure you go close enough to have this accurate and then go over to let's go over to this point and now i'm going to create this point and connect it with our first point so you can see that we have a shape now and now let's move this at the center. And as you can see, we have this at center and now go ahead and connect with merge one. So you'll see we have our highlight, but you'll see that this is not round from this side. We can do that manually by going over to the polygon, selecting your points, or what you can do is you can create a point and move it like this, but a better way would be to select one point and then move it around like this. So I'm moving it from this thing over here. Let's do it for the other point as well. This is the only part that will be most hard to do because this will take more time to set it right. So as you can see that this is all right we don't see any red color over here so that this seems fine so here you can see we have our first highlight and of course you can expand it as as west as you want i'm just going to set it here you can of course go ahead and move the point from here but you will need to adjust it yourself so make sure you already know where you want to add this point so for example over here i wanted to show 25 percent of something so i only chose this part and now i'm going to add a text connect it with the merge tool and write 25 percent if you already have planned that you want to for example represent 80 percent you can go ahead and make this highlight according to that but that's up to you i'm just showing you for 25 right now the process is same for any percentage that you want. And now let's set this color to dark, just 
make the color a bit dark and I'm going to set the set the font at open sans and at regular you can of course go ahead choose any font that you want and let's decrease the size to 0 0.05 so here you can see we have our first data that is depicting 25 percent of something whatever that may be and now how we can animate this so that is pretty simple all you need to do is go over to first of all select this polygon and hit Control c so just make sure that you copy this polygon over here and then Control v so that we have a copy of this polygon now what you can do is connect this to merge tool so you can see what i did over here I connected the copy of this polygon to this merge tool. And if you go over here, we have some right click here for shape animation. So just unselect this, go over to the first polygon as well and make sure that this is unselected. Now let's go over to the polygon, copy of the polygon that we have. And what we can do is go over at 10 in our timeline and create a keyframe at the Z rotation. Now let's go back to zero because this is where we're going to start the animation from and move the Z axis so that our highlight is not visible. Now let's go ahead and play this. Here you can see. Looks much better. And what you can do is you can also uh, do the do a right on effect for this 25%. So let's go over at 15, select the text, hit a keyframe at right on, and then at 10, I'm going to move this to zero. So now let's see how this looks. All right, this is great. And you can go over to spine and select your polygon, select the keyframes that you have, and hit S on your keyboard so that we have a better animation. So here you can see we have a much better looking animation. And of course, you can adjust these points. If you think that this is not right, you can just go ahead and adjust that. So that's up to you. This will take some time, but once you get it right, it will look much nicer. Now, we have our first data that we want to depict. We have the first highlight. We are showing that we have a 25% of this chart. We are highlighting that. But what if we want to add more of these? So that is pretty simple. All you need to do is copy the polygon and the background that you already had and paste it and now connect it with the merge but before you do that just go ahead and change the background color so let's go ahead and change the background color and i'm going to set the red at zero and green and blue at one now let's go ahead and connect it with merge three and now what we can do is go back to the polygon and change the Z rotation. So I'm going to change the Z rotation to wherever I want to set this. So let's say I want to set this over here. And this time we are going to once again copy the polygon and we will paste it over here. And this will again be used as a mask. But before we do that, before you actually create a copy of this polygon, we need to set this point so that this is connected with our first highlight. So you can simply just drag this and move this so that this fits. And once again, you will need to be setting this so that this is round and covers the chart. So I think this is okay. Let's just set this quickly. All right, so this looks much better now. And now what we can do is we can also animate this one as well. So let's go over and see that we were creating this highlight at 10. Let's go over at 20 or maybe over here close to 25 and create a keyframe for polygon that we have over here but before you do that you need to create a copy of this polygon which will act as a mask we already did that same process connected with the merge 4 and this time create a keyframe at z rotation and then go over at 10 
and then move this out of the space like this. Now let's play this. So here you can see we have a nice looking animation. And we can also go over to Spline once again and select the keyframes and hit S on the keyboard. And now let's see how this looks. All right. And now you can also copy the text connected with the merge. And let's go with, for example, this is 30%. And I'm going to copy this and move this over here. And for the animation, we can go over to spline. And you can see that our second highlight is ending at 25. So let's say that we want to reveal the text at 30. What you can do is make sure that you have everything else unselected. Just make sure only the text is selected and select your keyframes. Move it where your cursor is. And now let's see how this goes. Okay, so there is a bit of a problem, but let's go ahead and remove these keyframes. Let's create it again. Uh, let's go over at 25 and create a keyframe for text at 0. And then at 30, let's reveal this in. So this is our final animation. Let's play this. Right. So this is how you can create pie charts. You can animate pie charts in DaVinci Resolve. So I hope you liked the video. Let me know your feedback in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.